everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Jessica and I am a full-time reseller and in today's video I have yet another Goodwill bins haul there's a couple items that are from the regular Goodwill I'll probably show those first but the rest of the items are from the Goodwill bins where I believe I pay around a dollar fifty per pound um, so that means most items end up being between one dollar and two dollars uh, so really low cost of goods so yeah let's we have quite a few items to show today I'm gonna try and like zip through them so this is not like an extremely long video um, but let's go ahead and get started all right so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the few items that I have that are from a regular Goodwill there's not very many I think there's is there literally two yeah two items that I found at a regular Goodwill um, both of them are Victoria's Secret gold label pieces or sets I paid seven dollars and fifty cents for this so the first item Victoria's Secret gold label. It's like this really pretty teal color. Uh, it is 100% silk. So you have the top. I will show you Victoria's Secret gold label. I've seen a few different variations of this gold label, uh, but generally they look just like that. Um, and then this one also has the bottoms to go along with it. Very like cute short bottoms. So I'm going to get those steamed and photographed. And the second pair, I was so excited when I found these. I believe these were also $7.50. I've already photographed these, so the tag is gone. Um, you know, this one, I'm not really sure if this one is technically gold label, uh, but it is a, yes, the label like is gold, but it's a, it is a vintage tag. It's got the crown there. Um, this is so, look how gorgeous this is it's like some sort of floral print it's almost like metallic it's actually very sheer I'm not sure if it's showing up very well on the camera but it is very sheer but we have a top button down top and we have the matching bottoms there we go And these ones are a size, let me look. These ones are a size small. Super cute. And those were my two items from regular Goodwill. Now let's move on into the bins items. Starting with, let's start with our first pair or our only pair of shoes. Um, I actually found them in the box, which was really interesting. Uh, the box does say, a display box where did it say that i saw over oh, here it's up to down a display box size six and a half lucky brand it is their asher <laughs> asher style honey oiled suede basically these cute little i don't even know if i would call them booties i think they're like boots uh very minimal wear on these they have a really cute kind of like print on the inside also, I did get a new camera, um, so hopefully it's doing okay. <laughs> if it's not, I don't know if it, how well it focuses. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be pretty good, but you know, just bear with me if it's not good. <laughs> so yeah, um, little leather suede booties, size, I think I said size six and a half. Super cute. And I was really surprised that I found these in the box. Um, yeah, love it. Those ones, I'm not really sure because they look, I wouldn't say they look brand new, but they are very, very lightly worn. Um, I'm hoping I could get at least 30 bucks for them, hopefully more. Sorry, also this camera has a viewfinder that I like keep looking at. So I'm gonna have to learn to like not look at the viewfinder and look at the camera lens, <laughs> but it's okay, we're learning. Um, next up, so this is not a super fancy brand. The brand is just Avia. Avia. It's uh, actually a junior's size medium 8 to 10. But I think they these run a little large, but they're these super cute like athletic shorts. And you know, although the brand is not um, anything special, um, I really thought the print was just so, so cute. They're so like bright and vibrant that I had to pick these up. So I'm hoping these could sell maybe 20 ish. I'd probably expect around 20 for them. And next, oh, you know what? This is the only other non-clothing piece that I have. So this is, I'm going to have to insert a photo because there's no way that I can 
show this and kind of give it justice, um, but it is a vintage from what I've researched, I think it's around 1960s. That's kind of what all the comps uh, I looked up were saying, um, but it is this round, it's a 72 inch round tablecloth and it's got all this like teal and green floral print and it's got this fringe on the side super pretty the inside is not you know as vibrant obviously it's the inside um but i mean how and it's so bright so i ended up actually we have a round table um in my kitchen so i ended up putting it on the round table in my kitchen and taking some photos i will show those now um but yeah i honestly have absolutely no idea to what to expect from this uh some of the comps were like going upwards of like a hundred dollars some of them were like twenty dollars you know but I have not seen any that are, at least what I think, like as pretty as this one. I've seen a lot of like comps, they were like yellows and like a lot, no floral prints, just like flat yellows with a fringe. So to be determined on what that one will sell for. But next up from the bins, this is in an Urban Outfitters size small. Um, these are kind of just like, I wouldn't say they're cargo pants, but they're like, joggers um yeah just like a jogger they do have an elastic cuff at the bottom an elastic waist they have these really large uh side pocket here which is really nice but it's also a really nice kind of a like neutral color so i'm happy with these okay next up okay so this was something uh doesn't have a brand on it but i just thought it was so pretty it's a blue embroidered uh very sheer blouse it's got i think these are three fourth sleeves not quite full sleeves but got the embroidery it is embroidered here at the cuff as well embroidered all the way down the front gorgeous so you definitely would have to wear a cami underneath this but i mean it's it's so bright and vibrant it's more of like a spring uh, summary piece, but I love it. I think there was one pull in here. It's not even, it's just like the end of the thread. I'll just have to pull that through to the back, but love it. Super happy with that. Uh, that one obviously doesn't have a brand or a size on it, but, um, I'm not too worried about the brand, but I can just measure to get an approximate size and it'll all be good. It'll be fun. Next up. Okay. So this is, I believe it's world market. It is a size small slash medium it is another kind of just a cute uh blouse but it does have some little extra bits it's got like this um i don't even know i wouldn't say it's lace work down the front but this little thing down the front little sleeves all the stripes are really cute and um, it's a peplum top there is a thread i can see a little thread sticking out at the bottom but i'll have to just tuck that in it's also got some contrast threading here some other uh colors contrast threading colors but super cute this is definitely something that i would wear it's very cute lovely next up oh we have another victoria's secret gold label unfortunately just one piece i was really i looked for a long time for the top to this could not find it, but this is the normal Victoria's Secret gold label that I see. Um, it looks a little bit more like that. That's what I see a lot of the time. Uh, this is a size medium. There's a small spot on there, but it, you can only, it's only on the front. You can't see through the back. But this like, I don't, it's like satiny. It's not silk, um, it's polyester, but like super like peachy, satiny, uh, wide leg pajama pants full length, which is great, but I love these. I think these are so cute. All right, so next up, um, so this is a brand that I never really used to pick up, but I have been picking up a lot recently, and that is Chico's. So this is like a, it's Chico's, it's their platinum line. I think it actually is an older piece, um, but for whatever reason, Chico's has been selling like crazy for me. Like I never used to pick up Chico's or even sell Chico's. And then 
all of a sudden, like all of my Chico's pieces started selling really well. So I've just been picking them up for the past couple months and they've all been selling really well. Um, but this is a yellow, it is a jean jacket, but it's like a very stretchy type jean, um, jean jacket. And I thought it was just so cute, so original. It's got the little button cuffs. Definitely more of like, it adds a little bit of style. But it's super cute and it's also very stretchy and it's a Chico's size three. So if I remember size three, I think that's an extra large or like, it's either a 10 to 12 or a 12 to 14. I could be wrong, but it's something like that. It's a great size. Lovely. Next up. Okay, so this one is, uh, this is Zara Trafalic size medium. It is this super cream, uh, like a really nice kind of basics blouse, but it's got really cute, like an open, I think it's called a pointel knit. Could be wrong. Like an open knit front. Um, it's almost like, um, like a really loose kind of like, um, it's not a cardigan. What am I thinking of? I don't remember what I'm thinking of. It's like, um, almost like a poncho type. It's almost, I'm drawing a blank on the word. It's not a poncho, but it's like, it's got sleeves, but it's almost like a poncho. <laughs> uh, but super cute, open knit. Um, you would also have to wear a cami underneath this one because the front is completely sheer. But yeah, I think this was so cute. And I love the color as well. It's like the perfect in between uh, white and cream. This one, okay, so this is something that I still need to look comps up for. Um, I saw a lot of people like looking at the tag and then throwing it back. But the brand is, I'll show you the brand. Uh, Lanai. There's the brand. Lanai. It's a size extra large. I believe it's a men's. Um, so I think what people were doing is they were looking at this sticker on the back and seeing that it retailed for $25, $25. But when you look at it closer, it says that it's from Goodwill. The Goodwill tag was $25. I don't know, I've never seen a Goodwill sticker like that before, but it says Goodwill Central Texas, uh, $25. So when I actually looked at the retail prices of these uh, items, they were a lot more than $25. It's got a zip and snap vest. Super cute. And the outside is actually 100% linen. It is uh, lined. It's almost like, feels like it's almost insulated, but it is fully lined. Um, linen on the outside. It's got like a subtle kind of plaid print. Super cute. So I definitely need to Google the actual retail price of this and not just like what Goodwill was trying to sell it for. I don't know if Goodwill was maybe trying to auction this off online because there's two different Goodwill tags. There's a 25 here and there's a 25 at the back. So I don't know. So definitely gonna need some more research, but I am super happy with this piece. It's actually relatively light as well. Um, so it definitely wasn't a heavy pickup. Next up, this is more of like a bread and butter piece for me. It's Maurice's. Uh, it is a size XXL. It's a great size. Classic red gingham print, long sleeve, slightly sheer. It's got these elastic cuffs. So super cute. Definitely like a perfect um, like winter blouse would be really cute um, to style but super happy with these. Um, I have sold quite a few Maurice's blouses before and they go, I think anywhere from like 20 to $25. Uh, sometimes I list them up to like 28, um, but I expect probably around 25 for blouses like that. Uh, next, so this, I was really excited to find this. These are Athleta, Athleta size small. These are kind of just like your basic jogger sweatpants. Super cute, face flat, got the elastic cuff, drawstring waist. Um, I think it's actually got, oh, maybe it doesn't. I thought it had a pull on the inside, but I think it's just the drawstring on the outside. Oh no, it does. It has a little pull on the back, so you could tie it if you really needed to. All right, so next up, this is, I've actually never heard of this brand. 
um, but it seemed to be like a really like original kind of artsy piece. So I went ahead and picked it up. It's called Michael Liu Collection. Um, it's not really a tag. It's more of just like a, a this. <laughs> um, but it is this almost like stonewash waffle knit. I think it's kind of like waffle knit. Very slightly different, but um, so on the front, I believe it's Venice. I'm not 100% sure. It does look like Venice. Um, little graphic there on the front, but super cute. Kind of pull over, long sleeve. So when I was looking up comps for this, it looked like a lot of them were more like the his art. It's called the Art to Wear collection. Um, so we will see about that one. I just thought I sell a lot of like really like original type pieces like that. So we'll see. Um, next, so this is Armani Exchange. I saw very, very mixed comps for this. Uh, size extra large. It is just a basic black hoodie. And I've actually never heard of that brand um, Armani Exchange, but it's actually really soft. It feels like really good quality. Um, and also inside, inside the hood is this really cute print. So We'll definitely see, do some more research about this piece. Okay, so next is a Free People piece. It's actually Free People Movement. So that's their, I believe it's their athletic line. Um, it's got this like little, I keep thinking it's a corn. It's not a corn, it's some sort of flower. But Free People Movement, I think it's a size small. Uh, the end of the tag is just a little bit faded, so it's a little hard to see. But they are leggings and they have this kind of uh, crossover band at the front and you know what they actually might be capris now that i'm looking at them but very minimal wear on these so i definitely need to do some research to find a style name we're on the last two pieces here uh this is a brand i've actually never sold before but i looked up comps and they looked pretty good it's called quicksilver it's a men's um plaid i think it's 100 percent cotton mm, doesn't say it's the modern fit size medium Plaid button down, snap down, button down. But really nice. Honestly, feels really high quality. I saw a lot of these listed for $45. I don't know if I'll get that much for this, um, but I thought it was definitely a nice brand to try. And the very last item here, uh, this is from Anthropology but it is the Saturday Sunday brand. The tag looks like that. Saturday Sunday by Anthropology. Size 2X. These lovely, um, I'm gonna make myself look like a fool right now. Is it leopard or cheetah? It's leopard print, I think. <laughs> I could be totally wrong. I always get them confused, but uh, animal print, like, like really fuzzy sweatpants. Uh, not necessarily pajama pants, but just lounge pants. Super great and excellent size, especially for anthropology. Um, I like rarely, you know, brands like anthropology, free people, those type of brands, I don't see a lot of plus sizes around. So I was super happy to find a plus size piece in one of those brands. Ooh, okay, sorry. I have one more piece that was hiding. This is a Vera Bradley. Um, when I was doing research, it was part of their... I want to say they're reactive collection. It's all recycled materials. It's all um, like, I guess it's like a more sustainable line than their like normal line. Um, but it is this really cute kind of shoulder bag. At first I thought it was like some sort of diaper bag, uh, but it's actually just like a basic crossbody, uh, really cute yellow floral print. All right, so that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys liked it. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. And if you have any questions or if you have any questions about anything that I use for my reselling business, I have a bunch of links in my description box. If not, you can ask me in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Your time and attention